Uh, the question was, where are the repeal of sales tax and groceries? Were we talking about repealing sales taxes? I know we've talked about grocery tax, so where are we? It's an age-old question. Anybody? Or I'll pick one. <laughs> okay, so in all honesty, it was introduced in the House by a Democrat, and it was introduced as a personal bill, and it went to the House Ways and Means Committee to die. Was the fact it was from a Democrat, was that the kiss of death? Do <laughs> hmm? you think? Yeah, I, I, okay, so let's go to the personal bill issue. Um, personal bills are introduced, and this is something that I learned since I've been down there, for campaign reasons. So you introduce a personal bill so that when you campaign, you can say, I introduced this bill, they won't do anything about it. So that's the reason why it was done the way it was done this year. Um, I think the reason why it's not coming back because we couldn't get it passed last year. So um, I think that's part of the reason why we haven't seen it back this year. I am hoping that next year we can see it back and actually get it passed because last year, I believe it was a Senate, was the reason why it didn't it pass the House but didn't pass the Senate. And now that we've got a new Senate, it passed the House. did it pass the House? It did not, it did not pass the House either. Well, I, oh, it did get out of committee. Oh, that's right. That's right. The whole, yeah, the whole calling it off the floor, out of the committee thing. Yeah, that was last year. Um, so the, the House is not, we kind of flip flop this year. The House is kind of where the Senate was last year. So getting things out of the House is a lot more difficult this year. Senate's going to do a bang up job and pass a bunch of legislation and the House is going to be your stumbling block. So um, I, I'm hoping, I'm all for repealing grocery tax. I just want to make sure it gets done. And they tell us that if you introduce a bill and it dies, the next chance of it getting through is next to none. So it needs to be done in a way to make sure that we can get it to pass. And the grocery tax, actually we all get a tax credit that is supposed to help with our grocery tax. It may not be enough for different things, but it is, it isn't, um, it isn't like we're just paying that tax because we do get a credit. Um, I personally, in my um, district, uh, a lot of people are look, complaining about property taxes, and I am one of them. I think property taxes have got to be very uh, onerous and just uh, a, a real problem for a lot of people. And you take an elderly person, I mean, there are circuit breakers, but an elderly person has spent your whole life trying to um, own your property, trying to set it yourself up for retirement, and then what happens, um, and actually you don't even really own it because if, if uh, you, uh, want to do something in property, you have to get permission from somebody. That's kind of interesting that you can go ahead and tell Basically, private property defines your freedom. So um, if slaves could own property. So then if you want to, if you build a house, you have to get permission from somebody to move into the house. That's kind of weird too. And then if you don't pay the rent, property taxes, after uh, uh, three years, you lose it, which is, it's, it's really not, it's not defining freedom, not, at least not the American dream of our founders, I'm certain of that. So anyway, um, I would I'd much rather do that. There were three bills introduced in the House. Um, we're sure that they're going to blend those together. There will be definite movement to try to do some things on property taxes this year. And they're trying to get the best bill that they can forward that we can get through through the process, which is not always easy. But the grocery tax, well, I, I, would, I voted for uh, repealing it before when it came through. But um, I, I'm more concerned with property taxes at this time. Amen. <laughs> The labor regression tax, but just so you get a little color on on the thought process that's going on in the body generally. I think everybody up here are, I think we're all equal opportunity tax cutters. You put that in front of us, we're probably going to vote for it. Um, the reality of it is, though, I've heard an estimate, I think in the last week or two, that roughly $200 million of the revenue that the state gets from grocery taxes comes from non residents. 
So that would have to sort of be made up. The other argument that folks make is that the problem isn't when you go out and you spend $100 on groceries, that you gotta pay $6 in tax on top of it for a total of $106. The problem is you got a dozen eggs, a box of cereal, two gallons of milk, and one other thing for $100. So we can't fix that. That's financial policy, comes out of DC, it's being, we're just being crushed by it. So all the monetary policy stuff is really what's creating, I think, our grocery tax problem. I think some people are thinking that if we repeal grocery taxes, it's gonna make that better, and it just isn't. It, it, it just isn't. You, it's still, still 100 bucks for a dozen eggs, two, a gallon of milk, and you know, a couple of their items. That's the problem, um, the biggest problem. So that is the general mood in the body. So. I, mean, I don't know how everyone else feels about it, but I don't suspect you're gonna see a grocery tax repeal anytime soon, because um, we basically be spitting in the wind on the, against the real problem. All right.